In his garage workshop, Pat Boisvert says it's been quiet out front. Traffic just simply dried up. He lives on Canusa Avenue in Derby, Vermont. C-A-N-U-S-A. C-A-N is for Canada, one side of the street. USA is for USA, his side. I've noticed that the sidewalk is on the Canadian yes, side. Yes, it is. So what are you supposed to do? Well, you just go over there and walk up the sidewalk. In Derby, the international boundary runs through buildings. Almost everybody around here has got ties across the, the border in terms of family. In some places, the border is just police tape. You have the U.S. on this side, Canada on the other. This is heavily guarded by security cameras. When the border was closed, you'd have families sitting on both sides in lawn chairs just talking to each other. Very lonely down here. <laughs> Elaine Hayes has family in Canada. To get into the U.S., Canadians have to prove they're vaccinated. But to get into Canada, Americans have to prove they're vaccinated, test negative within three days of crossing, and fill out information on the Arrive Can app. I haven't done it because... To me, it's, it's complicated. At midnight, the border opened with no fanfare. George Surratt made the drive, only here for the cheaper gas. I find it easier to come here than to go back home. Who do you think is going to be the big winner out of all this? Restaurants and the ski areas down here, probably, in Florida. I think it's like a hundred and some bucks to get that test done. Boisvert says it's the Canadian testing mandate that's turning off travel in town. They may actually do away with that. I'm having a feeling. The Haskell Library is right behind us and the border slices right through it. So you have U.S. on one side, Canada on the other. It's an international library with international staff. And because the border was closed during the pandemic, they cut back hours to four hours a week. They are now looking to change that. Chef. I bet they are. Perry Russum, thank you.